All right, here we are, finally on live. You know I gotta start with my Herbalife drink concoction. What do I got today? I just did a little workout a little earlier. So it's kind of a post-workout thing, but still it needs some energy. So it has my lift off in it, my green tea or raspberry tea from Herbalife, uh, some H3O and my amino acids and some glutamine. That is my post-workout drink, pretty much all Herbalife stuff. We'll put that over here for when I need it in a second. In case I need a little energy boost, I'll take another little sip of that. So we're on episode number 13 already. Whoever would have thought we made it this far, number 13, episode 13. This week, we're a little late. I was actually just in a meeting getting some, working on some new t-shirts, mostly for men, t-shirts, tank tops. Eventually, it'll be pants and shorts because the Russians over there in, in Yugoslavia or some shit, and that, that shit is taking too long. She gets all this fancy designer women's high quality shit and the men get nothing. So I was in a couple of meetings today working on some stuff, getting the men some stuff in. Should have some, some camo t-shirts in, a couple of different kinds of tank tops in pretty soon. So today we're going to go over pretty much uh, if you're, how, how much, pro, I get asked all the time, especially now we're doing this six week weight loss challenge, about how much protein should I eat? Am I eating too much protein? Am I eating enough protein? How much protein should I have? We're going to go deep into detail into that. Also, people are talking about the metabolism all the time. What speeds up metabolism? What slows my metabolism? What is metabolism? We're going to go into that. Talk a little bit about a little more about the six week challenge, which we just finished the first week of. And then we have a case study, which this week is Armando. Uh, Armando will be our case study. And any other questions you have and whatever else goes on, whatever happens, who knows what, what's going to happen. So ask if any questions, ask them there in the, in the comments and we'll just go through it as we're going here. We're going to start with this quote. It says, we often take for granted the very things that most deserve our gratitude. So basically, that was kind of what I was talking about in our, our Game Changer group today is how we, we don't allow negativity in peak physique. There's no negativity allowed. It is only positive thoughts. You don't say, you know, always complaining about stupid little things. Usually the thing you're complaining about, the worst part of your day, you should be grateful that that was, that was the worst part of your day, that there was nothing worse than that in your day. So you should be thankful that that happened because... You have time and energy to bitch and complain about something so simple and so, you know, minuscule in your day. You should, that, you should be grateful for those things that happen. You know, they, they, there's a saying, there's something like, I don't remember how it exactly it goes, but the boy who had a, a broken or a sprained foot felt all depressed and sad or whatever until he saw the kid with a broken leg. Then the kid with a broken leg was sad and depressed until he saw the kid with no leg. Then the kid with no leg, was sad and depressed and whatever until he saw the kid in a wheelchair. And it just goes on and on and on. Things could always be worse. You could always find, turn something that you think is a negative, turn it into a positive. Be thankful that you are the way you are and not some other way. And that's going to help you out. So again, shirts, working on some shirts, some tank top stuff for men should be in pretty soon because that Russian whole Yugoslavian connection is just too fucking slow for me. And the men haven't gotten shit yet unless you want to squeeze into those little, those little, thongs or whatever that shit is that 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 they've been buying in in the gym so i'm gonna get some stuff in for the men coming in pretty soon so the first week is down in the six week weight loss transformation challenge as you know we're one week in we already see a record start to this you know rapid fat loss results record at a record pace already we're only a week and a couple of days in today's tuesday started last monday it's going crazy the, the amount of weight that is already being lost the energy has been fucking amazing in the gym. All these new members have been welcomed in like family by our, our peak freak veterans. And I appreciate that. All you mem current members that have been, you know, guiding them and helping them probably the same way that someone, you know, helped wipe your ass when you first started over here at peak. You need a little help, a little guidance. You know, we're all there on the same team, same family. So we want to thank all the current members that are helping out all those new members out. You know, also a fucking huge shout out to our peak freak staff. We have the, the team, the all-star, superstar team, rock, rock stars, you know, that, uh, in Rockland County, the best training staff in Rockland County, best training staff anywhere, really, forget Rockland County, Rockland County is an easy one, anyway, they are bringing the fucking fire every second of every second, the energy, enthusiasm, passion, craziness, and, and pure fun that they're bringing to every session is fucking unbelievable. And, you know, there is no fitness experience or even entertainment experience because you come in here, you're, getting, you're not just getting a workout. You're not just creating, a, you know, memories and, and joining the new family. You are getting entertained. This is an experience here. This is, this is a, a, you know, nothing like it in Rockland County. Nothing like it around, 
it's a peak free culture is what you're getting into basically it's an organic beast of its own and it can't be fucking stopped it can't be contained it can't even be fucking slowed down if you've been there you know what i'm talking about there's something there's a lot more than just working out this is not just a gym where you're just going in there and exercising there's so much it's so much deeper than that when you step foot into into this place well not this place you can see i'm on location had a little outdoor boxing session earlier and some bands out here in the woods after my meeting so that's why we're doing this live a little later and uh so let's keep rolling so you know you guys get me all fucking worked up already this this shit gets me excited this stuff with the six week challenge way that they, you know they're just killing it so far and they're just feeding off of it the, the energy and the motivation and the positivity is fucking infectious in this gym you know i've seen new six-week members walk into this gym like a scared